What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the first ever episode of Bridge and Brook, the Trailer Cooks. <laughs> I just came up with that before. I just went into town and took a shower. I'm all fresh and clean, which is great. And Trailer Cooks, you know, who are they? Bridge and Brook, obviously. I'm Bridge or Bridget. That's Brooke or Brookie. Brookie, say hey. She's not much of a cook or help, but hey, she wanted to be part of the series, so we'll let her. She's my pal. So on today's menu in this lovely outdoor kitchen of mine, on this lovely piece of uh, public land, I am going to make none other than deer, mule deer backstrap, potatoes, onions, bacon, maybe some cheese on the potatoes, we'll see. But pretty much back straps and potatoes. It's gonna be incredible. The deer I'm using is my doe that I shot last year. And this doe was young. Even though it was the only doe I could find in the area that didn't have babies with it, it was still fairly young and small. So the back straps are tender and delicious. It's gonna be so good. Let me show you what I do. Okay, so I have everything laid out here on the table. I cut up the potatoes. I'm gonna cut up some onion as well. Oh, the wind chime sounds so lovely. The deer is in here. That's going to be plenty for me for one serving. Cut up into little tiny pieces of backstrap. I have all my Camp Chef cooking supplies in here. My big old knife and my spatula. Oh, so pretty. I have cheese if I decide to put cheese on the potato. I have bacon because potatoes and bacon taste so good together. And like I said, I'm going to cut up the onion right now. Let me do that. Now you can see me thanks to my tripod. Let's see if I'm too tall for it. Ah, uh, just barely. Let's move it up just a hair. Whoa. Okay, that should be good, right? What do you think, Brooke? Just about perfect. All right, like I said, welcome to the outdoor kitchen. Backstraps for dinner tonight. Venison. All right, let's get this started. So... This is clean enough for trailer standards, so I'm going to use that with some oil. And I'm going to start cooking the potatoes because they're going to take the longest. Let me cut up some onion though too. In case you're wondering why I'm using a mini table, it's because my fingers can't get the table to go higher. I really need help. I need to phone a friend or take it somewhere and have someone help me. That's hard. All right, onion. Brookie, are you eating the pine trees? She is. Okay, just a little bit of onion because I'm probably going to be making deer tacos soon. So I want to save this for that. Chop them up real small. All right, onions are all taken care of. Let's start sizzling. Okay, going, gosh, the bugs are bad tonight. Going to add a little bit of water and a lid to expedite the process. Cause we're hungry, right Brooke? We're hungry. All right, so let's talk about what I'm going to season the deer with. I put it in a little baggie so I can just stir the seasonings in and toss it all up together. And I'll just let you know now, for some people watching, lots of people don't like the taste of wild game. I am kind of a wild game purist where I love the natural flavor of wild game and I don't use a lot of seasonings because I don't want to mask it. I want to preserve it. Brookie's exploring and I want to enjoy it. So I just use a little bit of seasonings. For this video, I have tons of seasonings in my trailer. For this video, I'm using a seasoning that I haven't used in a long time. I don't know why, I just kind of forgot about it. It's a Jack Daniels steak seasoning. Sounds good. It's like smoky, barbecue-y, really good. So I'm going to put some of that on. And 
And I'm gonna use just that and cayenne pepper. I love cayenne pepper, I love spicy. I put cayenne pepper on all my wild game pretty much, sometimes more than others, because I think spicy- My memory card filled up, so I deleted some memory. I'm not sure where I left off. But what I was saying was I love spicy and wild game together. It just tastes great. I'm gonna put the seasoning in right now. So that's a bit of this. That's probably enough. Oh my gosh, this seasoning smells so good. I wish you could smell it. And then some of this cayenne pepper. Just a dab because I like to add more at the end. No reason in making it excessively spicy before you cook it. Okay, so then you zip it all up and you toss it about. Toss, toss, toss. Brooke, are you tossing with me, girl? She's in the tree, I'll have to show you guys. That's all it needs. Now you can kind of see Brookie peeking. Brookie! <whistles> Brookie! She's being defiant. Brookie, what do you see? Look over here. She don't care. Oh, you're cute, Brookie. All right, go back to the tree. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna set up that Camp Chef back there. I just need to fill up my propane. So until then, I'm using the little one. So it hasn't been long, but the potatoes and onions are already super soft. So I just took the lid off, gonna let them crisp up a little bit, then throw the bacon on. All right, bacon sizzling up in there. I don't know if you can hear it. It smells so good. I'm drinking some unsweetened iced tea in my nice little Orca cup. Unsweetened iced tea is my favorite. You probably learned that. I'll probably mention it in almost every YouTube video. But it's getting there. Can't wait for the potatoes and bacon to be done. Then it's time to cook the back straps. Shall we have a dance party while we wait for the potatoes and bacon? I think yeah. <laughs> All right, so the potatoes and bacon are done. I just turned on the other stove to start cooking the back strap. Just to warn you, I do like my potatoes and bacon extra, 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 extra crispy. So you don't have to cook them the way I do. That's just the way I like them. I know it's weird, but I love them that way. Oh boy, it's a cooking. It'll be done in no time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is all done. Like I said, don't be alarmed. Be like, oh, she burnt the potatoes. This is how I like them. The back strap, or the back strap looks so good. I have some avocado, salt and pepper on there and some cheese. Gonna add some ketchup and eat up. Well, you guys, there you have it. I have a full belly. Brookie's gonna have a full belly when I give her pate. <laughs> but that was so fun. Thank you so much for watching the first ever episode of Bridge and Brook, the trailer cooks. You guys like that name? What do you wanna see me cook? I cook everything. I swear I'm a good cook, even though it looks like I burn potatoes. That's the way I like it. But I swear I'm a good cook. I love doing it. So let me know what you want me to cook. Next, based on what I have in my cooler, could either be pastrami deer burger, ooh, or like deer burger taco bowls. Which one sounds better to you? Which one do you want to see me do? Let me know, comment below. Thanks again for watching, guys. We're out of here. Say bye, Brookie Cat. Bye!